Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a medication known as magnesium hydroxide. Now, before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to use as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now, I've put together some slides to go over the information associated with this medication. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here will be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So as a laxative, magnesium hydroxide works by increasing the osmotic effect in the intestinal tract and drawing water in. This creates distension of the colon, which results in an increase in peristaltic movement and bowel evacuation. In terms of indications or reasons we prescribe this medication to a patient, well, we may see it used in the treatment of constipation or hypomagnesemia. This medication may also be used for indigestion or magnesium deficiency. In this situation, it would be used prophylactically or preventatively. With respect to contraindications, well, the good news about this medication is that no specific contraindications have been determined. Now, for an example of dosing with magnesium hydroxide, so in the treatment of constipation, using the concentrated liquid, we may see 15 to 30 milliliters, which would be 2,400 to 4,800 milligrams of magnesium hydroxide and 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of elemental magnesium, orally once daily, preferably at bedtime. Also, it may be taken in divided doses if needed or if um, wanted by the patient. And the maximum would be 30 mils in a 24-hour period. For indigestion, we may see two to four chewable tablets orally every four to six hours, up to four times within a 24-hour period. The maximum would be 16 tablets per day. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using magnesium hydroxide. We'll go over some of those here now. Some common side effects may include nausea, vomiting or diarrhea, and even worsening of symptoms, so potentially worsening symptoms of indigestion or of constipation. Some um, serious side effects, or one serious side effect, may be rectal bleeding. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with magnesium hydroxide. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to mind watching my videos. If you found the information valuable, I'd like to help grow this channel. Remember, you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. So for today, take care.